happy hump day. Welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here. And we are back. Ladies and gentlemen, you may, you may not even know we were gone, but that's all right. That's all right. We took Monday off because of real life stuff. All right. Um, but we're back with a vengeance. Today we're talking about Atomic Blonde and David Lich. Leech. How he said. Yeah. Yeah, don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this. Woohoo, boy. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, Squeaky. So, Nerdy Wap and I were going to go to the movies the other night. And so we decided what we were going to watch. We got dressed. We went to the movies. And we walked in holding hands all lovey-dovey like we always do. And the front desk people said, they told Nerdy Wap. They said, you have to leave. You can't, you can't bring that in here. And she was like, what? Can't bring what in? And she pointed at me and she said, snacks from outside. Happy, happy hump day, my friends. I'm so glad you're joining us today to talk about a legend director i'll tell you what uh i'm excited i'm excited we're gonna talk about it. i've had a horrible day but it's gonna be all right because we're here now right <laughs> like and subscribe if you haven't already we really appreciate it it lets us know we're doing a good job and uh tells us you like what we're doing here in the description box down below are all our things that we like stuff that we uh use or have used every single day and it's good quality products with some coupon codes to save you some of your hard-earned money. So, check it out. All right. So, after watching The Fall Guy seven times, <clears throat> I went back to see what I had of that director's work as a director. He's done lots of things as a producer, uh, as a stuntman, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but I was only interested in director the stuff he did as a director and i own all of it except for one movie and i want i've seen it before but i just don't have it in physical media so i watched it on streaming just to remind myself what you know so i could watch it and remind myself of the quality of the work and this is what we're talking about atomic blonde 2017 rated r hour and 55 minutes an undercover MI6 agent is sent to Berlin during the Cold War to investigate the murder of a fellow agent and recover a missing list of double agents. That's right. Double agents. End of the Cold War. As the Berlin Wall is coming down, that's what this movie is about. Directed by David Leach. Written by Kurt Johnstad, Anthony Johnston, Sam Hart. Starring Charlie Theron, James McAvoy, John Goodman. Fantastic. All right, first things first, my friends. The action in this movie, the stunt work, is top tier. Uh, the fights are a delight, and they're rough, and they're violent, and bloody. Um, you couldn't ask for better. Story, on the other hand, is, I mean, it's pretty, pretty norm. For a uh, spy thriller or action movie at the end of the Cold War, right? It's not super unique, but there's a couple of twists and turns along the way, right? <laughs> and the thing about it is, it, this is not just a strong female character that can't back it up, all right? She gets beat up pretty good in several instances but she also knows how to fight and she's earned uh she's earned her place by showing what she can do in her journey throughout the movie no 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 uh not everybody's going to be able to watch this depending on your uh your thoughts and how you look at things there's quite a bit of language there's some nudity there's chesticles in this, my friends. I'm sorry. And there's uh, several sex scenes. So, just be forewarned. I mean, it's a pretty bloody movie, to be fair. 
This isn't, I mean, this is rated, it's an earned rated R in this movie. It's pretty, pretty coarse. Like salt. <laughs> Overall, the story's fine. That's all I'm saying. It's just not like, it's nothing like super different than other spy action movies, right? Uh, it, it looks gritty. It looks it looks like film. I mean, like from the from that time period is is the best way I can describe it. The movie's dark, gritty, dirty. You know, right there as the Berlin Wall is coming down or about to throughout this movie. I get some tough stuff. It's not all beautiful and bright colors. No, it's it's dark. <laughs> and there's some great um, stunt work in this. And fight scenes that are pretty unique and pretty well done. I, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. <clears throat> it doesn't have a low score. And that's because it's a solid movie. Especially for 2017. It's a solid, solid. I'd give it a B plus for sure. Or four out of five squeaky chairs. Is it my favorite of his list of movies? No, not not even, not, not really. Uh, and it's not because it's got a lady in it. <laughs> no, it just, of his list of movies, you know, you got Deadpool 2, you got Nobody. I mean, dude, the Fall the fall Guy is, is <laughs> it's, it's, there's something special about that movie. But his movies are all great. You got John Wick. Yeah. So, it's not the best. It maybe would have been better if he would have had a hand in writing it, maybe. I don't know. We'll never know. However, rumor has it, Netflix is going to do a part two of this, or a sequel to this. But I don't know how, I mean, you know, one day they'll say they're going to do it, and the next day that, that's been scrapped, right? So you, you don't really know. I wouldn't be opposed to watching a sequel. But I bet if they do a sequel, he won't be directing it. And I'm not interested in watching this if he doesn't direct it. Because with a lesser director, the sequel will be a mess. You need his his experience with the stunts and the fight skills to make it entertaining. Now, I apologize. At this moment, you might be hearing some noise coming from outside because my neighbor hired people to do work on their house and they, for some reason, are in my yard. I don't know. My apologies. They've only been out there since 6.30 this morning when they woke us all up. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but yeah. This is a good movie, but it, it is it is pretty graphic, so be forewarned. Um, that could have a bearing on whether you can watch it or not, or want to watch it or not. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here before the noise gets louder. My apologies. We'll be back on Friday. Michael the microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this big fat nerd. We'll see you then. Oh, 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 o